Hello, and thank you, and welcome uh, to this uh, gathering today. And uh, my name is Malik Dabul, and I'm here to talk to you a little bit about marketing intelligence and its benefits to individual people as well as corporations and institutions. Uh, everybody would like to be very happy, uh, and therefore to be happy, one of the ingredients is to be successful. And to be successful, we need to have the right and appropriate knowledge uh, that help us to be uh, successful in achieving what we would like to do in, uh, in this world of ours. Uh, people think of knowledge as power, and it is really as such because it helps us to differentiate ourselves from others uh, that are working or competing with us in the, uh, in the environment that, uh, and the market that we are working with. One thing that uh, we need to keep in mind to differentiate yourself you really need to have a better understanding and knowledge about your capabilities, uh, your skills, uh, the skills that you have and the skills that you don't have. In addition to this, we really need to have an understanding of the internal and external forces affecting the environment we are operating in. These forces can be legal, economical, technological, uh, sociological, etc., but also it uh, they can include other factors that are directly or indirectly shaping that environment and thus affecting our performance in it. Uh, in order for us to acquire that knowledge, uh, we, have, uh, we can use a tool uh, such as marketing intelligence tool, which is a tool that allows us to gather, uh, uh, record, and analyze data about a problem that we are facing or an opportunity that we may take advantage of to help us uh, achieve competitive advantage. Uh, differentiation is very important to achieve competitive advantage and thus that knowledge of the environment we are working in is very key to help us differentiate ourselves. When we talk about marketing intelligence, we are talking about a tool that is a systematic in nature and therefore it aids us in decision making which is also a systematic in nature. Uh, one thing that we need to remember is once we define the problem or opportunity uh, that results by, uh, from comparing our capabilities with the environment we are working in, uh, we need to specify what information is needed. And when we specify that information, then we need to identify the resources of that information so that we can have a guiding light uh, toward achieving what we want to do. In order for us to get that information, we have to develop or decide on the technique of acquiring it. It could be via uh, telephone interviews or developing questionnaire and sending surveys or mall intercepts or whatever that will give us or put us in contact with the, uh, the customer that we are trying to understand, uh, their needs, their value system, and how is that value is changing. Very imperative also for us is that we need to be very objective and unbiased in trying to understand or acquiring that knowledge because if we develop a questionnaire that is not written very well and it is biased, we may get bad input and therefore will result with bad output. Uh, once we have that information available to us, then we will process it and try to develop programs or strategic programs or sales program to satisfy the need of that market. That need can be changing over time uh, because people value system change. There are many other influences. Competitors come in and try to satisfy that customer and take that customer away from you and give them offers that you may not have at this moment. So the idea here is to be very dynamic in, res in responding and as a matter of fact, it would be better if you are proactively uh, uh, pursuing to retain your customer and acquiring new customer. It has been proven that customer retention is significantly cheaper than acquiring a new customer. So one of the goals of marketing intelligence is to discover your customer really what he or she really wants and uh, try to satisfy these wants and also find out what the competitors are up to and what they are doing to satisfy that customer or take that customer away from you. Uh, this may require a lot of effort in acquiring data on a continuous basis, 
because there are different types of data. There are some data that are recurrent in nature, some data that are needed because something came up and you need to re request additional information, and there are data which are monitoring data, which means you continue monitoring the environment to see if there are any surprises or any opportunity to leverage uh, whatever capabilities you have and align it to the need of the, uh, the customer base. So in short, uh, the bottom line here is marketing intelligence is a tool that will help us in decision making and help us also know ourselves better as well as know our customer, know our competitor, know our industry, and know all the other forces regarding whether internal, external, that affecting our performance and therefore our objective to be successful. And this is basically contributing to the bottom line of any organization. Thank you for coming and uh, any questions?